This one's going to be on a script called Shot. Um, well, it actually has like two names to this, but officially from their script, it's called Shot. So that's what I'm going to go with. But what does it do? It's actually a uh, movie screenshot thumbnailer or screenshot gallery creator, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I'm giving you an example. So I have some uh, videos here uh, in MKV containers. And it will actually take screenshots of the video and I'll output it to a single file. And that's your, you know, screenshot gallery, okay, basically. So the script is called shot and we'll type dash H for help here. And these are all the options that they have. So they have one for time, you know, number, manually. You probably don't want to use the manual one, but, you know, you could if you wanted to. And at the bottom here, they give you an example, right? So we want to follow the example here. We we'll do shot. We we'll do dash n for the numbers of screenshots that you want to create. We'll do 10 for this one, and dash r is for the percentage. Now they want uh, or they recommend less than 40. I usually go over 40, right? Because I want to see, you know, have a big picture. But you can do whatever you want. So we we'll say 40 for this one, and then uh, you know the file name. And my file name here, let me see here, the first one here. And that's it. You hit enter and it will generate one here for you. Basically what it's doing is that it will take um, 10 screenshots. And uh, based on that, it will combine into one file. And that's your screenshot gallery. So at the end of it, you just have one file. Okay. And your one file here is just this uh, JPEG. And inside it, if we look at it here. See JPEG. All right, so these are all your screenshots in here. Let me make it smaller so you can see. But we wanted 10, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's why these two are blanks because we didn't say 12, we wanted 10 only. Now, the thing with this program or the script is that you can't really tell it to, you know, say use only um, three columns or three rows or something like that. You can't really manipulate that because they don't have an option to do that. So if you do shot dash H, there's no options to do rows or columns. The only thing that you can manipulate is, uh, you know, tell it how many screenshots you want to generate. But you can't really tell it, you know, to use this much rows or this much columns. So that's the only thing that's um, missing from the script. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty cool, right? And it's all command line. The only uh, programs that it depends on is mPlayer and ImageMagick, which uh, are two common uh, programs that's in every Linux uh, repositories out there. Anyways, that's it for the program. Um, easy to use.